When you trip and scrape your knee, you probably notice that it scabs over a few hours later. But what is a scab exactly, and how do they help you heal? Let's find out on today's episode of Colossal Question. A scab is just the protective layer that forms over our cuts or open wounds. They start to form just about the moment your skin first gets damaged by a scrape. The moment your brain realizes you have a cut, it will start forming a blood clot where the injury is to stop the bleeding. Once the clot forms and the bleeding stops, it's time for your body to start healing the wound. As the blood clot dries out, it hardens and forms a protective layer over the cut. That's the scab. It protects the cut mainly by keeping germs, bacteria, or other icky stuff out, giving the damaged skin underneath time to heal. Scabs kind of just look like ugly lumps of gross, crusty stuff, but underneath, there's all kinds of things happening to help heal the scrape. Damaged blood vessels are being repaired, dead skin cells are being removed and replaced with brand new ones, and white blood cells rove around looking to root out and eliminate any germs that might have gotten in. After a week or two, once the body is done fixing the injured skin, the scab will fall off on its own, revealing a brand new layer of healthy skin. Sometimes it's hard not to pick and prod at a scab. After all, they're itchy, uncomfortable, and sometimes even hurt a little. But the best thing you can do is just leave the scab alone and let it do its thing. Beyond just leaving the scab alone, there are a few simple ways you can help it heal even faster. For starters, wash it with soap and water. Not only will that help clean the scab, but it'll keep it from getting too dry, which is what makes it so itchy. Bandages are also a great way to keep a scab clean, covered, and away from curious fingers. So, next time you've got a new scab you're just aching to itch, just try your best to leave it alone, if you can.